to connect SQL Server database using three different ways. This is my server. The name of the server is DB Server. Here I'll add. Uh, this is the SQL Server. Run the SQL Server Management Studio. Now. Uh, this is the database engine server name windows app authentication i just uh, connect database with my application in three steps three way okay now i'm gonna create a database the name of this database is my test db okay now click uh, okay the, the my test DB, my test DB is created. The database is created now. Expand the table. Yes, new table. I'm just creating a table that uh, I just added three column in this table. Uh, after adding, uh, after connecting the database with my application, I'll show you how, how to work whether it is work well or not. Okay id name as just three column name is environment type and as is plot id is int integer data type the name of this table is user tab just click on okay okay my table is also created now i'm gonna create an application in visual studio new project visual c sharp windows form application uh, I'll keep the, I'll store this uh, application in G drive my test project folder okay just select this folder and the name of this uh, project is test application just click on okay my application is created this is the form now I just close the test server explorer when it, uh, it's needed then I, I will display from where you can add the server explorer in that case okay now in the from the toolbox just a design uh, insert form uh, to insert data in the database table I just added two text box and uh, level control uh, is ID text box one for ID and text box 3 for age okay done ID name is and now add button control to insert uh, insert the record in the database table the text of this button is save okay done now go to the button click event just double click yes this is the button click event here uh, I'll show how to connect SQL Server with this project. In that case, uh, go to the view. First of all, add Server Explorer. Yes. Here, uh, first of all, connect to the database. Now, right click, add connection, server name. Just click, select server name. It will display all the server name in local network. You just select your server name. My server name is DB server. Noted. My server name is DB server. I just select that DB server. Yes. Now, in this DB server, how many database are exist? It will display in the database list. My database is my test DB. Yes. Just click on OK. Yes, it's created. See that? That table, user tab now there is no data see that in the go to the property with the select the database from the server explorer here you can see the connection string connection string is data choose db server initial catalog everything just uh, select and copy i will paste it in my event click event okay in, the case, in that case uh, to connect the database uh, with the project uh, just to write there write this code SQL connection N uh, to write SQL connection you just add namespace in system dot data dot SQL client you can write it manually okay now SQL connection con equal to new SQL connection 
okay here i will paste what i copied the connection listing these are the this is the connection listing that i should uh, db server initial catalog my test db integrated security equal to true okay now uh, it's connected with a database i will insert record in database table to prove that that connection listing is working well or not okay sql command cmd equal to new sql command or just to write the uh, SQL command to insert data in the database table user tab. In that case, just write insert into user tab values. Values will be ID, name, age. What column are exist in the database, database table? ID at the rate of ID and at the rate of name and at the rate of age. Okay, it's done. Now call the connection string con okay. Now yes. CMD dot parameters dot add with value. ID what ID from where the ID will get it will get from the text box one. That case I that of ID object value integer the you know that the id is integer data in that case integer dot first text box one dot text then and the uh, second one is i just copy paste to reducing time cmd dot parameter dot add with value the second one is uh, text box two and this is a string type barker and barker type in that case no need to convert it to integer order. whatever name is done now cmd dot parameter dot add with value Age. age is float data type in that case it's, you need to convert it to double double dot first text box three dot text the s will get from the text box three okay it's done now finally cmd dot execute non query okay it's done now finally con dot close yes after saving it will display the message message box dot show successfully saved yes successfully saved now just debug this is just uh, showing whether the connection string is working whether the connection is perfectly created that is okay debug now the database table is uh, blank there is no record in this table. I am gonna add a table, uh, add a record ID 1, name, runner, and age 25. Save. Oh, execute non query request to open the connection. Connection is currently listed, is closed. Sorry, I wrongly I didn't open this connection. Uh, connection uh, must open the connection. Conduct open. Just debug. Yes now id one name john is 25 save successfully saved at another record id two name john simon is 24 save yes done john and john simon is added it means my connection is working well To connect database using link queue connection what i yeah, i demonstrate till now this is just uh, connect database with connection string now i'm going to show how to add uh, how to connect with database using link queue connection in that case add a link queue file link you to sql classes in your solution okay just drag the table and drop it in the link queue file dot dbml file Okay, it's done. It's also created a FF config file. See that this is the name and this is the connection string of your database. Okay, just save. Now uh, call the link you file, link you connection data class one data context db equal to new data class one data context. Okay, uh, this is the link you code. 
a bit different with the connection string code var as equal to new user tab this is the table name uh, user tab and id column name integer dot plus text box one dot text uh, this is for id and name equal to text box two dot text and uh, is equal to double dot first you know age is load data type in the database table in that case it should convert it to double finally db dot sorry db dot user tape dot insert on submit st db dot submit change message box dot show successfully saved Oh, saved yes just debug see that still uh, there are two record now I'm gonna uh, add new record ID 3 name Robin successfully saved and ID 4 name Jack is 20 successfully saved close and execute yes robin and jack is added it means the link you connection listing also worked you can use connection name instead of connection uh, instance uh, connection name instead of connection listing in case sql connection con equal to new sql connection i just declared con and then finally con dot connection is equal to configuration or oh, in that case add reference from the solution add reference dot net yes system dot configuration just uh, click and ok yes the reference is added now uh, add the name space using system dot configuration i already added it okay now configuration manager dot connection string yes test application dot properties from where the connection connection name is read uh, from properties setting yes see that value is connection listing and the name is in the first column okay uh, it's a uh, need to convert to string okay dot to string it's done now there are four record i will add more record display whether it's working or not id5 name michael is 54 yes successfully save and uh, then the record is john carry and age is 36 ID 6 so successfully saved okay execute to check whether the record is inserted yes so you understand uh, the different three different way to connect database uh, with, uh, with your application using visual studio